My name is Kelly McCormick. I teach uh, web design for BDA. Uh, my advice for people getting into web design in particular would be to take their time and learn it well because anyone can try to do this. Very few people do it well. And to do it well it does take time, it takes a lot of knowledge, a lot of skill, but it's all doable. You just have to sit down and you know, learn it somehow and classes are really the best way to do that, I would say. I approach teaching these web you know, web design programs that I specialize in, Flash and Dreamweaver mainly, um, really in terms of fundamentals and best practices, because um, they're, they're big programs and, and they can do a lot, but they don't ever help you do things the right way. They don't you know, direct you, tell you if you're doing it right or wrong. So you really have to have some fundamental knowledge of how to do things, the right order to do things, what, which, which tools to use, and uh, you know, best practices, industry standard ways to accomplish you know, whatever your task is. That's what's hard to learn on your own, if, if not impossible. I like to be an artist when I have time. Uh, so I do Photoshop-based digital art. And I'd like to get into video, get an MFA someday. And uh, that's one, one life that I lead. I also am an auto racer, and I race cars on an amateur level. And that, that's very fun. And that's also kind of expensive and time consuming. But that's what I do when I have time. My background in web design um, came from sort of when I was a child just doing technical things like playing with Legos and programming in basic and whatever fifth grade and I always had an interest in art and drawing and all sorts of things and I put those two things together when I was in college and um, wound up with a you know, fine art degree with some graphic design in there and uh, I learned web design early on and made my first professional site in 95 and um, you know, made a career out of out of Dreamweaver and Flash uh, specifically, and I've been doing websites on my own, you know, my own business freelance since uh, '99, and just doing websites and teaching it, and that's all I do. I think the you know, web design specifically is very creative and it's very technical. So you really have to have both of those sides of your brain working, and I, I definitely find that that's hard for some people. Um, but that's really what I, I, I like about it. You can use lots of parts of your brain and uh, you, know, you can accomplish really neat things if you can master both sides.